Welcome everybody to Meddling World. We're at Epcot and we're celebrating more 50th Disney World celebration. So listen, we have some important information about the queue process, the virtual queue process for Ratatouille. So come on in and check it out. I want to talk to you guys first of all about some important information about the process of doing your virtual queue for Ratatouille. Now there's two time slots. This is important guys. Now everybody listen. You have your 7 a.m. time slot where you go on and reserve your virtual queue time to ride Ratatouille which is located in the France Pavilion. The 7 a.m. Uh, queue time you can log in anywhere you're at, at home, before you're flying out, wherever you are, you can access that uh, feature on the Disney app and reserve a queue time, uh, a ride time, queue time, ride time. Now, the one for 1 p.m., it opens up again at 1 p.m., then you can go back if you weren't able to get a seven o'clock one, or maybe you uh, wanted to come to the park a little later in the afternoon, the, the 1 p.m. one, you have to physically be in the park to access the Disney app to allow you to reserve your queue time. And the only way is you have to scan your band to come into the park. Once you scan that band and the park's open, now you will have access at 1 o'clock for the Ratatouille queue. So please don't think you can get into the parking lot. Don't think, oh, I only live, I live really close. I live literally six minute drive to Epcot. I couldn't even do it at my house. Luckily we did get here in time and it worked out and we got boarding group, I think 114. Um, and they're on, I think like 68 right now. So within an hour or two, we'll be able to ride it. So that is really important information for everybody who wants to come and ride Ratatouille. 7 a.m. virtual queue, anywhere you want, at home, at the airport, at your resort. 1 p.m. queue time must be physically scanned in Epcot to access that queue. You heard it here on Meddling World. And if you guys can take one minute, hit the subscribe button if you enjoy these videos. We love bringing in the vlogs and we're looking to climb up that YouTube queue to get to the top of those searches. Let's see where we're going next. Oh, we got a couple pins. We stopped at Creations. We got a couple pass holder pins. We're going to show you guys those. Definitely wanted to show you those pins. Um, I got to tell you, we went in Creations. And Rachel, awesome cast member in there. She went through a couple different areas of the store and found both the pass holder pins for us. So I want to give her a big shout out. Rachel, thank you very much. And now we're going to show you guys the pins. Look at this one with the 50. Wow. I really like that one. I'm trying to look at it through the camera, but it looks really neat with the castle, right? With Mickey from the Magic Kingdom, because obviously that's the 50 year anniversary is the Magic Kingdom. So there's that one. And we also have this cool one with the dates, right? I hope you guys can see that. Um, it's got the 2021, October 1st, and then the 1971, Walt Disney World, and right on the bottom there, it's got your pass holder. And it's really neat because the top of the castle there sticks right out above the pin. So those are the two pins. Roberta, how about some prices on the pins? We'll give you guys a price. And don't forget, these are pass holder pins, so when you buy them, use your pass holder discount. So the limited release is $17.99. Limited release one here, $17.99. Is that with the discount? No. Without the discount? Without the discount. And then uh, this other one, the 50th, is $12.99. And the 50th is $12.99. And what they come to with the discount together? Uh, both was $26.39. And $26.39 after tax and the 20% off discount. So there you have it. Can't beat it. If you're a pin collector and you want your pass holder pens, Creations does have, have them. And you know what? Ask for Rachel and tell her. Meddling World gave her a shout out. 
By the way, we are here in front of a cool little playground in the shade. Uh, this is right in front of the creation shop. They set this up, I remember, post-pandemic during the Food and Wine Festival. So this is something that they usually do set up. Really cool to hang out. And also, check these out, guys. Oh, oh my God. The 50th anniversary pass holder cards. Awesome. And you can use them as your ticket. So you can scan those or you can scan your magic band when you come into the park. What do you think of those? I think they're pretty neat. We are going to try this funnel cake right here. It's actually a food and wine special. It is the mini candy bacon s'mores funnel cake. It's $9.50 comes with vanilla ice cream. So that was recommended from a friend of ours in Brazil, Fafa, and her daughter, Lala. They sent us a message that they want to know how good this funnel cake is because they've been seeing it a lot on social media. So we're going to try it and we're going to let everybody know how good it is. And this funnel cake area is located, if you take a look, there's this, the um, American Gardens Theater right past United States Pavilion heading down towards Japan. It'll be on your left side. Can't wait to try it. So here is the funnel cake I was telling you all about. This is $9.50. I think it might be a little small <laughs> portion there for $9.50. But we're going to eat it and then we'll let you know if we think it's worth. Well, I'm going to say that I think the funnel cake was really good because it didn't seem like it was just sitting there ready. Like, here you go. The, the cake, right, the funnel was crunchy. Yeah, was the ice cream was really was put right on. It wasn't yeah. melting. The, the bacon, it was all separate. They put it together so that it's not, you know, pre-prepared in any way. So I definitely think, I want to thank Fafa and Lavinia for recommending the funnel cake here at the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. It was delicious, and I recommend it to anybody who comes by. We are now heading to the France Pavilion here at the World Showcase because, well, we have a little dilemma because we have our boarding group that's getting ready in about 30 minutes to board. But my friend Chris from Connecticut is coming back, and his boarding group was number 86, which passed by already. So we're going to see... If there's any little bit of a grace period, well, they'll allow, he's running a little late with his flights and stuff, to see if there's some kind of a grace period where you could ride the Ratatouille after your boarding group was called. So stay tuned, we're going over, and I'm gonna try to find out that information for you. Just to give you a look here, this is the Morocco Pavilion, and it is back, and it's open, and this place right here, the Tangerine Cafe, it's a quick service. I've had some of the different food options there. It is excellent. I highly recommend that if you're coming through the World Showcase. Try some of that good stuff. Have a look. Here we are at France. Straight back there is the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Over here to this direction is where you're gonna go for your Ratatouille ride. And if you've seen my previous vlog on the 50 um, golden statues here at Epcot, I did feature Remy here in the middle, so I'm gonna show him to you in just a moment. He's really cool. But check him out, right? He's holding the flowers. And know what I didn't notice last time? He's standing on a big block of cheese, right? Really cool. Okay, I got Check them out. So here you're gonna see Ratatouille. This is where you're gonna walk in. And it looks like you can just kind of walk through here even though you don't have your boarding pass yet. So it looks really nice here. Look, this is the Skyliner coming in. And this is your transportation from some of the Epcot Resort, so that's very convenient as well. So if you're coming from one of the Epcot Resort areas that provide the transportation with the Skyliner or the boat, you're gonna get off 
and come right around into France. Really convenient. Keep that in mind while you're booking your I guess, vacations. I definitely gave him a weird look when he looked at the bus. And so I was like, that's why. Just kind of give you a little walkthrough so you can see what it looks like. Cool music playing in the background. Skyliner looks to be maybe delayed there a little bit. It's not moving. And back here also is the new crepes to Paris, right? I know I apologize to anybody that speaks French. I'm sure I did not pronounce that properly, but that is a new quick service restaurant. So it looks like you can sit down inside there or there's a quick service window. So you can just kind of order there and grab it to go. I think I want to sit down inside though today. If we can, if not, I will come back and show you that restaurant another time. I'm like, I'm so this is about Jake. I think this is about as far as we're gonna go because this is the queue. This starts the queue. So I'm gonna go talk back with Roberta. We're gonna find out about that little dilemma. Like I said, my friend Chris was group 86 flying down from Connecticut. Chris from Connecticut with his family. I got group, I believe it was 114, which they're up to group 111. We're gonna find out the grace period to see if he'll be able to ride with us, if we can wait. So let me get you an update on that right away so you'll have all the information you need for the best way to ride Ratatouille. We did talk to the cast member um, that does the boarding up, up top, they check you in. And yes, you, any time after your boarding group was called, you can go in. So no issues if you are running late, if you're boarding group 50 and all of a sudden you look down, ah, oh, they're up to 100. You can ride any time after, just can't ride before. So that's some good information. I just wanted to clarify that up because you always hear different rumors. So I like to talk to cast members to get the official Disney uh, policy on it. So no need to worry about anything about being late. Wait for your group to be called anytime after. You're good to go. Oh, I love this fountain. Look at this fountain. Oh, I love like the champagne bottles. The way the water is like projected out of it. It almost looks so bubbly, right? Like real champagne, man. That's pretty cool, the filters they have in there. This thing's really nice. Take a step back so you guys can see the whole thing. Really cool. So uh, even though, you know, you uh, do have a group, right? You're, I I'm calling it boarding group, okay? You still gotta go through a queue. It looks like it moves pretty quick though. So after it is called, you gotta get into another line and go through that queue to get in there right around a few times so I would say now it's hard to say because I've never been on a ride but quite a few people in there but they look like they're moving right everybody right and then this is where you're gonna go in right here and it has your group one right now it's 100 to 115 so anybody before 115 can go on in you got your regular clock and then Let's just take a look here for your specs for the ride. It's a 3D ride, okay? And it looks like there is definitely wheelchair access for my friends in a wheelchair. And I don't see any height requirements, so this is a ride for everybody. Can't wait to get in there and check it out. Oh, look up top. they make it look like it just kind of continues on right that's what I love about the Imagineers they do a great job look we got a blast from the past oh, my goodness. Chris from Connecticut is back Chris what are we going to do right now man we're doing Ratatouille we've been waiting this is this is what we've been waiting for I'm so excited yeah we're excited we're gonna go on we're with our families Chris came down with his wife and his daughter we're here i'm here with roberta and jake we're gonna go on a ride we'll give you a full review when we're done right chris absolutely i'm excited we'll see you in a few
invités pour le dîner. Yes, but what you got here? Hein? Pour le repas idéal. Coco vin? Non. A simple omelette? Too simple. What? Mais oui, that's it! You guys just saw some bits and pieces of it. Um, I thought it was a cute ride. It was fun, right? Yeah. What? It was the classic Disney dark ride. Like we were saying before, there's no height requirement on this ride, so everyone can ride it. If I have to grade this ride, I'm giving this ride a C plus. The C plus experience. One of the effects wasn't even working. Also, yeah, at that, the, end. the uh the the champagne cork. It was a little weird. It's like it was, it, in a loop. It, it was in a loop. Yeah, something happened there technically where it didn't work right. But uh, yeah, Chris, I'd say it's it's a it's a good enough ride. Probably wouldn't want to wait a long time. Yeah, for I mean it, that's you know? why they got the boarding group yeah. going right now. That's probably your best bet. But if this ever turns to standby, I probably wouldn't wait more than 45 minutes for this ride. I agree, but I will I will say this, Chris. If you're coming and you're celebrating this 50th anniversary, I definitely think it's worth checking out yeah, for sure. Obviously, if you haven't done it, you know it's the newest ride in Disney World. Guys, show it its respect. Come on down and visit. Do it once. Find out for yourself. Yeah. But overall, fun. Fun for a whole family. Yeah. Kids all the way up to grandpas can enjoy that ride. Exactly. Thank you all for watching Medlin World tonight. I was so happy to see my friend Chris from Connecticut and his awesome family down here. And you know what? We just kind of hung out for the rest of the night after the ride just to have some fun with friends. So we're going to close out the vlog now. Guys, please like and subscribe to Meddling World. It's free to subscribe. Just hit the little button, ring the bell. Help us move up the queue to the top of the YouTube search. And last but not least, see ya!